Okay, a quick video on how to set up your uh, VSTs with Scalar and Remiti. How do we connect them all properly and understand how this works? Pretty simple. So let's start with um, pretty much an empty uh, Cubase here. I have my usual setup, but if I wanted to say play um, the orchestra with a Scalar, I would simply take a contact, drag an instance into Cubase or do it the other way, add an instrument here, regardless, same thing. Go down to the orchestra, open up the engine, and then I can minimize this. And we have a VST in Cubase. And let's just understand what we have so far. If we turn on the monitor to that, and depending on how you have Cubase set up, sometimes you have to turn that monitor on. <laughs> And if I take my mouse and press down, we hear the default uh, preset play. Very simple, straightforward. And if I go and change that to just a color of this full staccato, we play that. So we understand that. Now, if I want to play this not with my mouse, but I want to play this with my keyboard, I have to go to make sure you have it selected and go to the input of that VST, whichever one you dragged in, in this case it's the orchestra, and we can rename it now as Orc for Orchestra. And in this input list, right now by default when you open Cubase, it sets it so that any all MIDI inputs, any controllers that you have to play, like a keyboard that you hit and play music on, will drive the orchestra automatically. So if I play my keyboard now, I can hear chords that I'm playing on my keyboard and that staccato sound is playing in the orchestra. Really simple, basics. Um, and that works great, but now we want Scalar to play it. So we just go to Scalar here and you may or may not have this turned on to pictures here, but just find your Scalar 2, drag it into your scene just like you did with the VST. It pops open and now we can drag it open turn on the monitor and we see it for the orchestra and we click back on the orchestra track make sure you have that selected now we see a new input down here and I don't mind all of these Divisimate inputs uh, that's just from Divisimate your system probably won't have that and you should just have one or two uh, inputs available maybe your keyboard and scalar but we see now the scalar is available as an input for the orchestra channel. So now scalar is the input for the orchestra, not my keyboard. So I've changed it from my keyboard, which was all MIDI inputs or my Steinberg, whichever, because my Steinberg interface is a MIDI connection to my keyboard. So we've changed it from my MIDI keyboard driving the orchestra to Scalar 2 in this box. And we'll go over that one more time just to explain inputs and outputs later. But uh, right now, so Scalar set up to play my full staccato here. And in fact, we don't even need, we can turn off Scalar's internal sound by clicking this off. So right now, Scalar will not generate any sound of its own, only MIDI notes that will play the uh, samples and sounds of the orchestra. So that's pretty clear. So now if I take my keyboard and or turn on a performance, let's say let's turn on the first performance of Accento, go to a scale and uh, just C major scale and we, we get a chord. Performance is turned on. This chord now will play the staccato samples in the orchestra. So I hold it down with my mouse. And that's exactly what we get. So this is just generating the movement, the rhythm, no sound, but it's playing the staccato color in the orchestra. And that's as simple as that. That's how you set it up. Uh, but if you want to understand it a little bit more so that you can have more complex setups, I'll go a little bit further here. So let's say that um, I wanted to add a uh, Remiti also. Maybe sometimes I want to have Remiti or a different uh, MIDI generator uh, to 
play the orchestra. Same thing applies. I select Remidi, drag it into my scene, and to the project, and now I have Remidi. Drag this down so we can see it, turn it on, and now in the orchestra I should have a new option to play my orchestra. And if we go to its input, we can see, yes indeed, there is Remidi, and if I turn that on, and if I turn off Remidi's internal sound, because it also has an internal sound, and just click on the basic uh, classical here, generate a little MIDI notes here. And if uh, I turn scalar, so now when I play my keyboard, I don't want it to play scalar. So I'll go to the scalar track and make sure that all inputs, so just turn the input to not connected so there's no conflicts there. So right now, Scalar is turned off. Uh, you can even turn it off just to make sure it's not going to conflict or turn off performance. So now we're going to use Remidi to play that same color that has no rhythm. Of, uh, you know, the orchestra has no rhythm. It's all coming from now Remidi. So I play one key on my keyboard. And let's see what... Oh. Okay, that's set up. And Remidi, there's one other thing I forgot here. So when I opened Remidi, and this is something you have to remember because uh, it's something you can easily forget and I forgot it too right now. When, when Cubase opens another uh, uh, VST or whatever, often, and depending how you have it set up, I don't know if it's default or something I did, but you have to make sure that when it opens a new one that it doesn't change this automatically because this when I opened Remidi, it automatically, Cubase changed it to the same as the last opened. I, maybe it does that just as a feature. But we don't want Remidi, uh, we want my finger when I press my keyboard to play Remidi. So I need to change that back to either all MIDI inputs or my specific MIDI keyboard controller. So now, when I hold down my keyboard, Remidi will play the orchestra. And that's exactly what we get. Okay, so these are the steps that you have to remember so that you don't get um, hung up on some simple little thing. And even that got me again, because I got to keep remembering, um, you know, if something's not working right, just go back and uh, think it out logically. So let's recap. When you open a VST, and let's se select the orchestra track here, you can play it. It has its input routing. So when I highlight this little bar here, it says input routing. Okay, so that's telling what input is going to play the orchestra. And I can select any one of these inputs. I can play it with just my keyboard. And that's what I'll do now. There's ju I'm just playing chords on my keyboard. Or I can change it to Scalar 2. And now Scalar 2, if I turn it on, and just make sure Remedy isn't going to be, no, that should be fine. So Scalar 2, go to the orchestra, it's set to Scalar 2, and the orchestra doesn't need my playing on the keyboard. It can generate its own notes with performance. I turn that back on, and when I hit now the D uh, chord key, it should uh, play staccato, and it does. And it works. It's really that simple. And uh, again, say you just wanted to play the orchestra by yourself on your keyboard. You, you've had enough of uh, the MIDI generators for a while. You just want to play and practice some uh, chords and stuff on your keyboard. Again, just go to the orchestra, highlight it, make sure it's selected, and just go back to your keyboard. It, either all MIDI inputs, that will work because that will be any input. But just to keep it being from confused with other inputs, you may just want to go to your specific keyboard input. And mine's on the Steinberg interface, MIDI interface. And now I just play again. And we're back to playing live on the keyboard for the orchestra. So pretty straightforward. Um, it allows you, though, once you learn the system and how it works, um, you understand that, well, there's nothing stopping me from dragging in another scaler. So I just drag another scaler into the scene. And now it opens up on a track. And I can drag this down to reveal it, turn it on, and double click, change the name of it to Scaler 2. And I may want to call it uh, 
uh, A major. Okay, so why would I do that? Well, because you may want to have, you know, scalars a pretty complex uh, system right now, and you can have many different scalars open. It's very light on the CPU. Same with Remidi. They're, they don't generate um, sounds. They're not playing heavy samples. They're just generating MIDI. And if you have their internal sounds turned off, it's very, very light on the CPU. So there's nothing stopping you from having three or four scalars open. And you could have uh, set up one scaler as uh, here, like um, the, which one we got here. So A major, so I'd go to scales, I'd set, set it up to A and the scale of major. And I may get a very uh, specific setup with a certain performance that uh, this scaler is going to play. Maybe I like uh, a phrase, you know, maybe that one and uh, maybe I have the key locks on so it's going to play that specific uh, key and scale and maybe I have a voice grouping of an open voice grouping on this one with a humanize of velocity I have a very specific now I got to turn this piano sound off because I opened a new scaler and it still had this internal sound turned on just turn that off drag out any kind of chord progression you want very specific edit that to whatever uh, you want to play it with special timings and performances and all inversions and all that and that will be this scalar and you can just leave it like that and when you want the orchestra to be played by this very specific setup um, fine you just set the orchestra to go to the orchestra and set it to the input of uh, scalar to a major and now this very specific setup and performance is playing staccatos in the orchestra. And then you may want to go back to your first one, which was uh, B minor, whatever. Totally different setup. So very, um, there's no real limits once you understand how this works. And you can do the same thing with free MIDI. I've, I have sessions where I have four free MIDI open, four scalers. Uh, multiple uh, orchestras open, uh, really versatile, and of course there's nothing stopping you from, uh, uh, you know, having a rhythm in uh, the orchestra play along with, say, uh, one from, so let's go back to the original scaler with a very simple uh, little rhythm playing, but now it's going to play with a simple rhythm eighth number two in the orchestra and that's what we get now we're getting rhythm from both the sounds just coming from the orchestra but the rhythm is coming from scalar and the orchestra it's a really versatile system just remember that any track any vst that you drag in and i could drag in keyscape anything like if i dragged in keyscape the same thing would apply I would go to the Keyscape uh, track, set it to either play it live on my keyboard by setting it to all MIDI inputs or my specific input on my keyboard, or set it to a Scalar or Remidi. I could have Remidi or Scalar. In fact, I tried it and uh, it sounds really great. You could have a performance playing your, uh, your pianos. So um, hope you got something out of this video. Um, a bit of a long-winded um, video on how to do this but uh, it's better to understand it so that you can uh, come up with even more complex ideas of this but generally yes just drag in a VST change its MIDI input slider here to whatever you want scalar remidi or other generators and uh, away you go just uh, make sure that it's set up correct and um, that's all there is to it hope you had a uh, a good day or a good evening wherever you are and we'll catch you on the next video.